Sup buds, it's Fly High. Wanted to talk today about analog. Uh, I've got a bunch of analog gear in the store and wanted to give a little rundown of what everything is and what it's best used for. Uh, these are the Attitude V6 Fat Shark goggles. Uh, when you're ready to get out of the park and pass your box goggles, this is a real nice entry level. Uh, set up. They include a module and patch antennas so you can get a jump immediately and start flying. Uh, if you want to upgrade the module, you can go up to a TBS Fusion. Uh, Fusion module is going to have diversity, but it also is going to have signal combining so you'll get the best possible signal. Uh, I've also got the high end attitude or Fat Shark HDO2s. Uh, they are going to have a OELED screen in the highest resolution you can get, independent goggle, independent eye control, uh, really, really nice, but uh, they're restocking, so I'll have them back in the shop soon. Um, if you need batteries for your Fat Sharks, uh, these are the 18650 cases, and I've got the 18650s in stock as well. I carry the Panasonic uh, 3400 milliamp hour world record holding cells, as good as you can get, and as long as they can last. Uh, also, if you're tired of the little skinny straps that you get with the Fat Sharks, you can upgrade to some Ethics Fat or straps. Uh, I've got the green and the black for uh, the um, green is for the uh, analog and burgundy is for analog and I'm restocking the burgundy uh, and then green and black for digital. Um, then you got to get antennas for your goggles. So I really recommend an antenna like the TVF Triumph Pro for your for your goggles. The key here is that you get a really, really long stem so that you can get that uh, omnidirectional antenna up above your head. The longer the stem, the better, really. Uh, you see I got this fox ear antenna and it goes up almost a foot, way up above my fat head to get that signal out. And the next thing you see is the x -Air antenna. Uh, this is my favorite patch. It's cheap. They're only 15 bucks, and it is a great, great antenna. This antenna actually has two antennas in it, uh, a single antenna that's going to push out at a 60-degree um, beam and very, very high gain, and then a wider 120-degree beam that's medium to high gain. And what's nice about that is if you are shooting way up out a long way off and you kind of swerve a little bit outside of that 60 degree cone your signal doesn't just drop off immediately you got that 120 degree to protect you before you fall back to your omni um, and if you're looking for quad side antennas uh, i've been really really loving these true rc carbon matchsticks uh, that's what i've got on the quad right here and i thought that because it was carbon it was going to be stiff like my frame but it is not it's actually a carbon weave and it is extremely flexible and I have been bashing this one up for about two months now I guess and uh, still as good as the day I got it looks like I chopped up a little bit of the heat shrink but still perfectly serviceable antenna um, these are fantastic they come in regular length and long lengths and then this guy I don't even know if this is necessary but instead of Kevlar they've got this one weaved with um what is uh it's an <laughs> i can't even remember off the top of my head it's bulletproof too though uh, <laughs> and if that those antennas are a little too extreme i got budget antennas that are durable these are the foxier lollipops uh v4s and they're two for 20 bucks um my favorite analog camera though is the T-Rex. This thing is the highest resolution FPV camera on the market. Higher the resolution than even the DJI cameras. Uh, it's just amazingly clear, really, really bright image. Works well in low light too, uh, but it is uh, marketed as a low latency camera. Just killer, killer resolution. I think it's only got like yeah, six milliseconds of latency. You won't get that on digital. Uh, so you get the camera and then next thing you gotta figure out is what kind of video transmitter you need. Uh, I've got a whole variety of video transmitters from Team Black Sheep. Um, if you're a micro kind of guy, then I've got the original Nano and the Nano 1.1. 
This one was uh, 50 milliwatts and the 1.1 boosted you up to 500 milliwatts and packaged like the size of my fingernail. Uh, it's awesome and tiny. Uh, if you're looking for full size video transmitters, uh, I carry the Unify Pro. The 5G8 HV and 5G8 V3 are both nice, small, and compact. Um, the HV, I think, is the more durable of the two. They actually bolt down the UFL connector, and the V3 is going to be what you want if you want to save weight and still have a full 800 milliwatt proper VTX. Uh, if you're not as concerned about weight and you just want durability, this is my favorite. Uh, I, I really like this a lot. I run this guy in all my quads. Uh, it's just a tank. All the components are on the inside of the board instead of on the top and the bottom. So nothing gets chipped and knocked off and you don't break off caps and man, this thing's just a tank. Um, it does go up to a thousand milliwatts and uh, it's great. You can just kind of tape it down to the frame anywhere and rock solid. I've got a couple of these that are now years and years old. Uh, they're restocking right now. TBS is getting those back to us as just as quick as they can. But, you know, the demand is high because we love them. Uh, and then this is a crazy cool one. This is um, the 69, which is a combination of a VTX and a... Uh, a um unif a nano receiver so you've got a thousand milliwatt vtx and a receiver built into one 20 by 20 board which is really really nice and convenient and easy to mount uh you know most frames have got that 20 by 20 stack in the back and uh it just conveniently goes back there you can see mine's been out in the dirt and the bando i've been playing with this one pretty rough um but yeah, so that one combines the two, and it's nice because for 50 bucks you get a thousand milliwatt VTX and a nano receiver. Where these are like 50 bucks just for the thousand milliwatts. Uh, I still think this is the best if you want durability. This thing will just take a beating and just keep keep going. It is such a beast. Highly highly recommend it if you're a basher like me. Uh, anyway, if you guys need anything at all. Just reach out to Fly High or hit my, my website. Uh, you can order everything online. And I do a pretty darn good job of keeping up with the stock on there so that it'll tell you if something is restocking or if not, it is in stock. And we'll ship out usually same day or next day. I uh, really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for helping me build this thing up. And uh, let me know if there's anything else you need.